This is the story of The Three Little Pigs and the Somewhat Bad Wolf by Mark Teague. So once upon a time, there were three little pigs and they lived on a farm and they were very happy to live there. And then their farmer told them that he was going to move to Florida and they were going to have to leave. So he paid them some money and they said goodbye. So each of the pigs set out to make their own life. So pig number one took his money and he bought a bunch of straw because he was going to build a house of straw. And since that was inexpensive, he spent the rest of his money on potato chips. And then pig number two came and he decided he was going to build his house of sticks. And since those aren't very expensive either, he spent the rest of his money on soda pop. And then pig number three decided she was going to build her house of bricks. Obviously, she was probably the smart pig. And so she didn't have any money left over. And the man at the store actually gave her a sandwich because she didn't have anything to eat. So then each pig goes about, they make their own home and they, you know, adjust to life on their own. And then one day, the big bad wolf comes into town and he is in a very bad mood. And he's starving. So he goes into town and he tries to find something to eat at all the local stores. And they're either closed or they won't let him in. So he is in a terrible mood now. So he goes to pig number one's house and he knocks on the door and of course the pig says you know I'm not gonna let you in by the hair of my chinny chin chin and the big bad wolf says I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow it down and to his surprise he actually did blow it down this time so the house falls apart pig number one gets afraid and um, he actually rides his scooter all the way to his siblings house and so now the wolf is even more angry he's starving so then he goes on down the road, and who does he find? Pig number two. And so he knocks on his door, and of course, pig number two says, no, you can't come in. And so again, the wolf huffs and puffs, and he ends up blowing that house down too. And he's still hungry. He's in an even worse mood. And pig number two gets wet. So then, of course, they end up at pig number three's house, and all three of the pigs are at pig number three's house. And so he knocks and they say, not by the hair on our chinny chin chin. And the wolf says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow it down. So he's huffing and he's puffing and he's huffing and he's puffing and he cannot blow this house down. And eventually he actually passes out in the front yard. So when the pigs look around to see uh, what's happening outside, they see him just laid out on the floor like this. And so then they take pity on him and they say, maybe he's hungry. So pig number one says, I know I've got potato chips. And pig two says, I've got you know soda pop and pig number three says no he doesn't need that he needs fresh vegetables and so she goes out and picks some from her garden and they have a big meal and so the wolf eats and turns out he's actually a pretty nice wolf and he doesn't want to eat them so since the two other pigs house was destroyed they decide to move in with pig number three and the wolf and they all three end up living there but since it's pig number three's house, she says that they have to be clean. They can't roll around in mud and filth like they did on their own. And that the wolf couldn't blow anybody else's house down. So the three pigs and the wolf end up living happily ever after. And the wolf, turns out, wasn't so bad. That's the end of my story.